All right, simmer down, simmer down, everybody. Shh, the video's the video's starting down in front. Uh, all right, hello everybody. Peter here. I'm drawing on or drawing with uh, Microsoft Paint today, just using the mouse and a little bit of the keyboard, mostly just the keyboard for pressing Control Z. Unfortunately, with Microsoft Paint, you can only Control Z like four, five, six times. I don't know. It's you can only go, you can only have so many mistakes before you've got to patch it up the old-fashioned way by just you know like drawing over. Also, with you know Microsoft Paint. Uh, there's no layers. You just gotta, I mean, I guess, I mean, there's layers in the sense that you can just layer everything up the old fashioned way, like in real life, just keep on drawing on top of things. Uh, but anyways, I'm using, um, the Microsoft XP version of Microsoft Paint. Uh, that's the oldest version I could, I personally could find on online. Uh, but, uh, but if you press control E, I'm pretty sure you can do this in like whatever current version of Windows Paint you've got. I don't know what the heck you guys are doing if you've got like a Mac or Linux or what other crazy operating systems you you hipsters are using out there. But uh, if you press Control E, you can switch to black and white mode and still get this cool color palette. Uh, or if you go to like attributes or settings, I don't know, there's probably some menu that does it. Uh, but anyways, you can switch to black and white palette, which gives you these cool, it's only black and white, but you get all these cool gradients of, of textures and um, crazy black and white, uh, it's like, it's like patterns and cross hatches and crazy weird, uh, checkers and polka dots. And I don't know, you, you, and you can make your, you make these sweet gradients of using like, like a little bit of polka dots and then get, you go up one step and it turns into slightly more polka dots and a little bit of cross hatching mixed in. And you can like really experiment with all these cool patterns and mishmashes of Hat, hat, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying them in real words anymore. I'm so confused about what I'm saying. But anyways, it's a lot of fun. And for the first part of this drawing, you can tell I was just, I was just going nuts with it. I made like a little cityscape or something. And uh, then I just started making weird shapes and, you know, kind of smushing stuff about as much as you can smush stuff about with Microsoft Paint. I spent about four or five hours making this drawing and you're watching about four or five minutes. Now, if I didn't know what I'm talking about, I would say that's like 10 times as fast, but then you can never be quite as sure with minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So then the conversion rate gets all weird. Why can't there just be 100 minutes in an hour? Everything would be easier. Is there like a metric version of keeping time where there's 100 and everything? You know, like that's what's so easy about like metric, you know, con measuring systems. You know, there's like 100 meters in a kilometer and a hundred centimeters in a meter. Why can't there be something like that for time instead of having 60, everything being divided by 60? I guess, I guess a, a, a centa, wait, wait, no, wait, a hundredth of a second is like, anyways, okay, I don't know what I'm talking about that for. Um, anyways, and then towards, th this drawing is, I will tell you, this drawing is a self-portrait. Um, so I did eventually take a little selfie I don't know if I did it on Saturdays. Is it Selfie Saturdays or Selfie Sundays? Whatever day that was appropriate, I'm sure. I took a selfie, and uh, and then I dragged it onto the screen there to use as a reference. I, I know this is strange. I know it is. Uh, but I took a little selfie, and I dragged it on screen there to use as a reference. And I don't usually use references. Like, for the re whole rest of the drawing, I, I wasn't using references because I wasn't trying to draw anything that looked like anything, and which is usually the case for me. You don't you need you don't need to use references if you're not trying to draw anything that, that right. But if you're trying to draw yourself, you should probably use yourself as a reference. Uh, you know, don't pull up a mountain range if you're trying to draw yourself, or don't pull up a, a you know a basket of fruit if you're trying to draw draw yourself. Depending on who you are, uh, but I, so I, I took a little selfie, pulled up on screen, and then you know went at it. And I think I I think I got pretty close. It all depends on um, who you're you know, how close you are. You can always take a few liberties. Like I made my, I think I made my chin a little bigger and made my glasses a little wobbly and comically glassy or I don't know what I did, but I, I think I like how it turned out and the, the hair looked cool and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I had a fun time with it. Uh, and all, all, overall, I, I had a, I don't know what I'm saying, but I had a fun time. I would do it again. I mean, not right away because I like dabbling in other little things. And for the most part, I like just doing pen and ink drawings. But it seems lately I've been doing a lot of things that weren't pen and ink drawings, which is, I mean, every now and then I get worried about that. But I don't know why I would get worried about that. But I'm pretty good at worrying about things that I shouldn't be worried about.
for some reason. That's a strength of mine. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I was going to tell you to, like, leave a comment about something, but I don't know what to tell you. So, th thanks. I love you. Goodbye.